Hi, I'm David Hill, and I'm the Senior Technical Marketing Architect for VMware's Cloud Services Business Unit, vCloud Air. In this tutorial, we will talk about VMware vCloud Air disaster recovery offerings and how we configure the remote site for replication. This is the next step in getting your disaster recovery solution up and running. The steps we are going to cover in this video will allow you to configure the on premises environment to replicate to the remote site. You are going to need to collect some data, starting with your vCloud Air login so that you can validate the account and that you have the DR resources available. You will want to save this information for later use in the configuration. We will then walk through connecting the remote site, which is a VMware vCloud Air disaster recovery virtual data center, we will go through configuring the remote networks. There is a little preparation involved ahead of time that we are not going to cover in this video as we created two networks for test and recovery. However, one of the default networks is created for you as standard. We will then talk a little about some, some of the considerations that are needed, things to think about as you are building the remote site out. You may want to use more than one network, and we will talk about ways to create additional networks on your own. Lastly, there is the option to use DHCP or static IP pools, so you have some considerations to think about. We won't look at all of it, but we will point out the different areas in the video as we move forward. Let's take a look at the vSphere web client and go from there. So we're going to look at how we actually configure our site so we can start replicating virtual machines to vCloud Air. And we do this by collecting our information that we were talking about in the previous slides. So if we log into vCloud Air with our account that has access to a disaster recovery cloud, we are presented with the tiles that we saw in the introductory video. So we've got My Subscriptions, Virtual Private Cloud On Demand, and we have disaster recovery to the cloud, which is the one that we want to use to go and configure our site for vCloud Air disaster recovery. So we click on the disaster recovery to the cloud tile, which takes us into our DRVPC. And then we go to the replication status. So this is where we collect our information that we need to go and configure the vSphere replication site. And as we previously mentioned, we need to copy and paste this information. So we have a cloud provider address and we have an organization name. So we'll copy and paste these into Notepad. And we use this data to actually configure the replication appliance. So when we configure the site in the vSphere replication appliance, we'll use this information. So we'll copy and paste into Notepad so we have it. And then we'll go over to the vSphere replication appliance and we'll start configuring. So we go over to the vSphere replication and we click on the vSphere replication plugin. We wait for the plugin to load and then we select the manage button which will take us to the configuration area of the vSphere replication appliance. So once we're in the manage area, we will see that we have target sites. And this gives us the ability to either connect to another vCenter server or to a cloud provider. We can see that our replication server is up and running and it's connected and we have the IP address configured. So we're happy that everything's ready for configuration and we'll go back to our target site and we'll click on the connect to a cloud provider button. Now this is where we use that information that we just cut and paste from vCloud Air. So we take the cloud provider address and we take the organization name and we copy and paste those. We then have to enter our credentials. So this is the same account that we just logged in with vCloud Air. Now this is the account that has permissions to a disaster recovery cloud and we click next. We're then presented with virtual data centers. So any virtual data centers that we've created in vCloud Air will now be listed here. So we can see we've got a VDC1. So we'll take a look in vCloud Air and make sure that that's the same virtual data center. 
So we can see we've got a VDC1 also showing in vCloud Air. So we, we know that we're connecting to the right virtual data centers. So go back to the web client and we'll say next. We can see the validation succeeded. And then we'll be ready to complete. So this connects us to that actual endpoint in running in vCloud Air. So it connects us to that virtual private cloud that gives us the disaster recovery capabilities that we need in vCloud Air. Now we can see that everything's completed, but we still got a status that's showing missing network settings. So we actually need to go and configure our network settings that are in vCloud Air. So as we mentioned previously in the slide, you get created one default network, but for the instance of this demonstration, we've actually gone and created our own recovery and test networks in vCloud Air. And these will be listed when we configure the networks for this actual target site. So we have the options recovery network and test network. Now what this actually means is we're configuring the networks for our virtual machines to connect to when we actually perform a test or we fail over. So these are the default networks that our virtual machines will be assigned to upon a recovery or a test failover as a default. Now we can configure these, which we'll see in another tutorial later on, but these are the default ones that are assigned to those virtual machines. So we click next and we click finish. And we see that the task is now completed and our status is connected. So let's go to vCloud Air and we'll actually look at those networks that we configured. So we see that we have our recovery network and our test network. And we can see that we actually have our IP arranges configured so that if we want to use DHCP, then we can actually configure using these IP ranges that have been allocated to these default networks. Now that we have finished configuring the remote site and we know you are properly connected between your on-premises vSphere environment and your vCloud Air Disaster Recovery Cloud, we can move on to the next step, which is going to be showing how you configure the replication on an actual virtual machine. You can watch that video and others at vcloud.vmware.com tutorials. Thank you for watching.